Welcome back. Senator Mike Duffy's lawyer says his client is fighting an unprecedented charge called gross negligence. He said the Senate has turned into a mob and Duffy has no way to defend himself. The conservative senator faces a potential Terry correspondent Mark Dunn. Hello, Mark. Hey, Brian. How you doing? I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm a little bit baffled by the, by the lawyer's assertion that he'd never heard of this charge before. Well, you know, and that's a, a small potato is actually what happened at this news conference uh, today with Mike Duffy's uh, criminal lawyer, a very uh, well-known criminal lawyer here in Ottawa, probably across the, uh, the country, Donald Bain. Uh, explosive allegations, Brian, uh, all about, like, you know, who knew what when with regard to that $90,000 uh, payment that the Prime Minister's former chief of, chief of staff, Nigel Wright, uh, gave m m Mr. Duffy. Uh, Mr. Mr. Bain uh, is, is saying that, you're right, the mob mentality, and, you know, Mr. Duffy's coming up to, to defend himself, and he says... He was just giving out a, a tip of the evidentiary uh, uh, iceberg in terms of uh, information. But the key things here is that uh, the PMO came up with the scheme uh, for the $90,000 repayment. It was something that Mike Duffy did not, did not want to do. He was threatened that if you don't do this, uh, we're even going to write you the lines and create the scenarios for you. We will throw you under the bus. We will kick you out of the Senate uh, without a hearing. So some explosive allegations uh, with regard to the timing of uh, when the PMO uh, knew uh, about, the, about this payment. Uh, also, he mentioned a couple of other senators, Senator Carolyn Stewart Olson and, and Senator David uh, Tuchuk. Uh, these, of course, were key senators on that steering committee uh, that came up uh, with the plan to force some of these senators to repay some of these inappropriate claimed housing uh, and spending allowances. And, of course, this was all in the face of the uh, outside audit that actually said Mike Duffy didn't break any rules. Mr. Bain was suggesting that, you know, a lot of the media have jumped to the wrong conclusions about what was going on there, that the, the rules were unclear. As the original audit had said, some other senators uh, basically, I think under the instructions of the Prime Minister's offices, figured Mike Duffy was becoming a political hot potato, a political embarrassment. They wanted to sweep this whole issue under the rug. Uh, they were going to force this $90,000 payment. Let's have a listen to what Mr. Bain had to say just a couple of moments ago. The Senate, or at least the Conservative majority, whipped by their leader, intends to act like a mob to sentence Senator Duffy without a hearing without knowing uh, the evidence, uh, and without, strangely, waiting for the very RCMP investigation, uh, which they called for, without waiting for that due investigation to conclude its work. And they seek to do this on the basis of sheer unproven allegations, having themselves now come up with a new allegation called gross negligence in the management of Senate office resources. And even later on, Brian, uh, towards the, uh, the, the end of uh, Mr. Bain's comments, he took a couple of questions. And basically he, what he was suggesting is that uh, the Prime Minister was behind a huge, uh, the Prime Minister's office was behind a, a cover-up. You know, when this whole story broke a, a while ago, if the Prime Minister's office and others would just have said that, you know, okay, the rules are unclear, we've got to do something about that and leave it at that, but no, they chose not to do that. And as Mr. Bain said, you know, it's, uh, it's, they, they, it's the cover-up. But of course, the bigger story becomes when the cover-up, uh, we find out about the cover-up. And he's saying, again, he's just sitting on a tip of the evidentiary iceberg in terms of some of the stuff that's in the hands of the RSMP right now. His allegations today were quite explosive, suggesting that sitting in, in the Ottawa courthouse, a lot more allegations that link the Prime Minister's office to this whole payment and the whole problem around this, uh, the Senate, the $90,000, Niger the Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff. It names names. We know some of the names already in the PMO. We've reported about that over the last couple of months. So it's going to be a hot and heavy question period uh, in the next hour or so, Brian, because of course the NDP especially are all over this file. Uh, they filed a motion last week wanting key Prime Minister's staffers brought before a House of Commons committee basically to explain who knew who knew, who knew, who knew, no, no, knew what when. And we're going to see more of that today. So it'll be quite interesting uh, if the Prime Minister actually makes an appearance in the House of Commons because of course, he toddled off to Europe last week to sign that free trade deal. We haven't seen him in the House yet since the House prorogued for four months. All right, Mark, thanks for this. You bet. That was senior parliamentary correspondent Mark Dunn.